Hey, welcome to factoring. We are going to be doing factoring here. This is, I should mention, an essential skill. This is huge. This is a very important skill if you're going to continue on calculus. So let's focus in and get done common factors, part one. Here we go. Uh, let's just recall, though, from A4 that to multiply a polynomial, uh, what you do is you multiply every term of the first, in this case 4c, by every term of the second. So 1 and negative 3c. So let's see what we get. 4c times 1 gives me 4c. 4c times negative 3c gives me negative 12c squared. Okay, and that's multiplying. As it turns out, factoring is just the opposite of multiplying. So common factors... What we're going to deal with today is common factors are the greatest common factor in the terms of a polynomial. For example, 6x plus 21. The greatest common factor of 6x and 21 is 3. They are both divisible by 3 and nothing greater. And in fact, then they are exactly equal to 3 times 2x plus 7. Because 3 times 2x will give me 6x, and 3 times 7 will give me 21. So that's a common factor of 3. Now for all these slides, I should mention that I have got a font error, and so this question is really saying 4x squared plus 12x. Okay, so what are the common factors here? Well, we've got two terms, and they're each divisible by 4, and they're both divisible by x. So in fact, the greatest common factor is 4x. Okay, so in my first term, 4x squared, if I divide that by 4x, I get x. Or in other words, 4x times x is 4x squared. In my second term, in white here, 12x, if I divide that by 4x, I, in fact, get 3, because 3 times 4x will give me 12x. So there's my answer, 4x times x plus 3. Next, again, this is actually 5x squared plus 10x minus 25. Pause the slide now and try it yourself. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, I see that the first term is divisible by 5, and the second term is divisible by 5, and the third term is also divisible by 5. So I think I've got a common factor here of 5. Let's see. It's going to be 5 times x squared plus 5x, oh, sorry, <laughs> times 2x, 2 times 5 is a very difficult question. And then 5 times minus 5 gives me minus 25. I'll rewrite that. That's 5 times x squared plus 2x minus 5. Okay, the next one here uh, is, again, giving me an error because of the uh, typing. So this should be 12ab plus 6a squared b minus 9abc. Take a moment here to find the common factors and pause. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. The common factors here are 3 times a times b. So all three of the terms are divisible by 3ab. So if I take the first term, 12ab, and divide it by 3ab, I get Four. If I take the second term, 6a squared b, and divide it by 3ab, I get 2a. And 2a times 3ab will in fact give you negative 9abc. The last one, 9, or negative 9abc divided by 3ab will give you negative 3c. 
Okay? And I'm done. So there's my factored form. The last one's a bit of a different problem to throw at you, but it's a very important common factor, as we'll see in future lessons of factoring. We have, in fact, 5 times x plus 2 and negative x times x plus 2. What is common about those two multiplications? Well, in fact, what's common, of course, is the factor x plus 2. So, I can rewrite this as x plus 2, my common factor, times 5 minus x. So, x plus 2 is multiplying 5, and x plus 2 is multiplying negative x. Okay, in fact, that's it, that's all. Okay, that's it for common factors. Time to move on to simple trinomials.